Okay, I got some more welding done. Um, I notice when the uh, thing is all welded up, the outside uh, bars kind of bow towards the inside. So, not having a uh, eight foot two by four that I want to sacrifice to the to the job, I just cut up some scraps to sort of stick in the middle here and make sure that the outside are exactly the same as the uh, or the, so that the inside measurement, like you know what I mean. You know what I mean. Make a square. Uh, got some welding done. I like to cut, I like to grind the welds flat, just aesthetically. Uh, I'm not great at welding, but not absolutely terrible. Anyway, you see I missed a couple that I want to grind off. But now, I got to deal with my axle. Um, one of the four bolts is stuck. I think it's because in cutting it off, my dad, uh, mushroomed it, like heated it up. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is heat up the um, leaf itself and then try hammering it again. If I can't get it out, I'm gonna have to drill it out. Um, but either way, uh, this is a good axle, totally worth keeping. And it's part of uh, legitimizing the fact that uh, this is not going to be classified as a brand new trailer to anybody. This is my dad's old trailer and I'm simply building a new box for it. But um, as you can see, it's a five-leaf suspension from the trailer it was originally part of. The, the lowest leaf is warped, so it's functionally a four-leaf. And even that's too many uh, for the kind of weight that I'm going to be towing. But uh, at this stage, whatever, I really don't feel like having to sacrifice these brackets to mount the axle back onto the leaves again, you know, by taking leaves out. So this will, uh, let's get to heating this thing up and try and get that, uh, that one bolt out of there. There you go. All right, here's how everything lines up. The um, leaf springs themselves are exactly 48 inches apart means these brackets are going to overhang slightly. So that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and weld these front two brackets so that they are directly across from each other and overhanging as they need to be because the exact the precise outer edge here is going to have to be at 48 inches. Um, which is fine because this interior cross member here is a thinner wall than this outer stuff, so I'm going to be focusing my joints there. Very important to clamp these things in place when you're starting, and obviously you can see why I grind the welds flat. They have to be for these to fit. Okay, I got this guy tacked into place, and looks good, nice and straight. What I need to do now is tack the other end. All right, so with the wheel in place, you can see how it's sort of already leaning back slightly. The problem is the far side, it's not really close. So I'm gonna have to uh, probably use a ratchet strap to pull that down and get it into place. All right, here's the donor tongue and this stuff has to get hacked off. That has no purpose in the new model. Um, the frame is back up, ready to rock. I'm working on a precisely how I'm going to attach the thing. And the tongue is 40 inches from the ball to this boundary right here, which gives me tons of space. So if I hack those two things off and assume my mounting is gonna go right about there, I can actually cut quite a few inches off of this pipe because it is going to join between these two members on the front of the trailer. So that wood's not going to be there. I'm just going to, they're not even in, in, they're just wedged in. So I'm going to weld in another beam that goes across in front of the suspension shackle and it's going to have a couple of 45 degree bars just to uh, spread some load out a little more in the frame. And then I'm going to weld an angle iron onto that and some pipe onto that. So what we're gonna have is a joint that this is going to 
bend at so that the whole trailer can tip down and touch the ground. And then all I have to do is make sure that my lights, this is the back end here, the lights have to mount high enough that the lowest point on the trailer is going to be the frame itself. And then um, the spare tires are going to mount just in front of the lights to protect them, but they have to be mounted high enough so that they only just touch the ground at the same time that the back of the trailer does. Or I could mount like a, a skid onto the thing. But anyway, let's get started with cutting this thing up. That is a good weld. All right, got the first chunk off. And uh, by way of public service announcement, I was having a go at these uh, weld leftovers and uh, went a little aggressive and a huge chunk of metal flew off, bounced off of either that or that and bounced straight up into my eye. However, I was wearing eye protection. So it did kind of sort of bounce off the glasses and off my cheek and then hit me in the eyelid. And so I did see a big bright flash, but I still have my eyesight. And I'm probably gonna have a blister on my eyelid, but uh, had some ice and polysporin and cool stuff like that. So anyway, don't forget your eye protection. And that's the way to cut that guy up. It's gonna take me two hands to knock the thing down the length of the pipe with the hammer, but uh, you get the picture. <laughs> 